This is our home now. I want us to fit in. Oh, this is gonna be a gas! Where did you two move from? How long have you been married? And why don't you have children yet? WandaVision just premiered on Disney Plus and the reviews are rolling in. Here's what the critics are saying about Marvel Studios' first Disney Plus series starring Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda and Paul Bettany as Vision. The Hollywood Reporter's Daniel Feinberg writes, even with its slow-building sense of menace, WandaVision has more in common with a meta sitcom like Get a Life or That's My Bush. Half hours built around tweaking the conventions of the format, then a comic book show. He continued, Did I find this delightful? Often. Is there a core demo this will flummox? To be sure. However, Vanity Fair's Richard Lawson was unimpressed by the show's pacing. He writes, the trouble with WandaVision thus far is that as early as halfway through the first episode, we've pretty much gotten the joke in its entirety. I found myself getting impatient rather than intrigued for the show to hurry up and tell us what's going on. Oh, Arthur, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Kelly Lawler of USA Today agrees. She writes, with each installment, a few more cracks in the sitcom facade appear, but the bigger mystery is unveiled at an excruciatingly slow pace. As a weekly series, it's an aggravating and unsuccessful structure. According to Screen Crush's Matt Singer, after watching the first three episodes, if WandaVision was going to lean so far into the direction of vintage sitcoms, it might have benefited from punchier scripts. The tiny teases of the larger story behind WandaVision are intriguing and promise a final six episodes that should be a lot more exciting and marvel -y than these three. And Vox critic Alex Abad Santos says, After seeing the first three episodes, I think WandaVision is a show whose early going is going to seem better in hindsight, once it has some time to unspool. Am I dead? No. Why would you think that? Because you are. For more of what the critics are saying about WandaVision, go to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.